today we are going to see a very interesting topic which is also an oral question that is the relief valve versus safety valve so we all know that relief valve is usually found on air bottles heat exchangers hydrofoils positive displacement pumps sometimes in the fire line fresh water generators if it is steam operated on the steam line cargo tanks and also you can find in certain let's say gas carriers you have relief valve for venting out the cargo you mean the gas i mean the gas and safety valve when i ask you where you can find it you usually say that it is located in boiler economizer and superheater you can interrelate these terms that even you can say that um, a screw pump or a gear pump has a safety valve in it it's right both are similar but technically there are some basic difference which we will see in that in this video so first let's talk about the relief valve as you all know relief valve let's assume that we have a relief valve and on the air bottle and the air bottle is supposed to operate at 30 bar or the relief valve is set at a pressure of 30 bar now when will the relief valve open or relieve the pressure now the relief valve will lift only when the pressure is slightly above 30 bar let's say 30.1 bar if the air bottle pressure reaches 30.1 bar that is any small pressure above 30 bar then the relief valve will open so relief valve does not open at 30 bar it opens at a pressure which is slightly above the set pressure and the amount of opening when you talk about the amount of opening of a relief valve the relief valve does not open fully at 30.1 bar at 30.1 bar the relief valve opens which is the opening is directly proportional to the increase in pressure which means in other words let's say the pressure of the air bottle is 35 bar depending on the design the relief valve will now open fully now it's full open but at 30.1 bar the relief valve is open but it need not be fully open it is slightly open and just relieving pressure which is sufficient to bring it back to operating pressure so to encapsulate it a relief valve or the amount of opening of the relief valve is directly proportional to the increase in pressure that's the point i want to derive with the relief valve first one more point what you have to note with the relief valve is again let's say the relief valve is set at 30 bar pressure on an air bottle and the pressure is 30.1 bar the relief valve opens but the amount of opening is proportional to 30.1 bar it's slightly open just to relieve this 0.1 bar which is excess of this 30 bar if it is 35 bar that is the pressure inside the bottle is 35 bar the amount of opening is directly proportional to this excess pressure of 5 bar when compared to this safe operating pressure of 30 bar so the opening is directly proportional to increase in pressure and the opening is not all of a sudden it, it's gradually opening you know like uh, let's say the air bottle reaches 30.1 bar the opening is gradual gradual doesn't mean it is opening its opening slowly it is opening and then as the point one bar gets out of the air bottle again it closes again it opens so it's intermittently opening and closing or we can call it as feathering of relief valve 
or just chattering of relief while just to opening and closing continuously just to relieve this excess pressure and as you all know the relief valve is an ordinary spring loaded valve as you adjust the spring tension or the spring pressure the pressure with which the relief valve opens is increased or as you increase the spring force the pressure with which the relief valve opens also increases let's say I keep on tightening the spring pressure and the relief valve opening pressure will increase from 30 bar to 35 40 etc etc so I can adjust within the operating design of the relief valve from a range to the lower range to a higher range that's how the manufacturer gives or designs the relief valve and one important thing about relief valve is as the relief valve opens uh, that doesn't create any immediate emergency or immediate need to attend uh, the air compressor or the pump since it's opening we are sure that nothing is going to happen wrong so usually operating of a relief valve uh, doesn't require immediate attention when compared to the safety valve all right now let's see about the safety valve again for this example let's assume a boiler which is operating at 7 bar now as we have seen that the relief valve doesn't open at the set pressure it opens slightly above the set pressure when we compare that with the safety valve the safety valve when set at 7 bar for a boiler opens at 7 bar or a safety valve opens at set pressure let's not talk about the 3% about the working pressure rule for the boiler that's uh, that's not the scope of this topic so the safety valve lifts at the set pressure now when we compare with the relief valve the amount of opening of the safety valve the safety valve also has a spring and a valve enclosed in a valve housing etc but the amount of opening is huge whether it's 7 bar 7.1 7.5 whatever it is the amount of opening is large but it is not constant the amount of opening is huge enough to create sufficient pressure drop within the pressure vessel all right so as the safety valve opens at 7 bar in a boiler it opens up and then it reaches or recedes only after creating sufficient pressure drop inside the boiler so that it can operate safely for let's say next some period of time so it will probably reseat at 6.7 bar or something like that as a thumb rule we know that the safety valves should be set at three percent of the working pressure that's the maximum setting working pressure plus three three percent that's it should be the setting should be less than that and or the exact rule states that the safety valve set pressure need not exceed that's the term they use need not I mean need not exceed three percent above the working pressure however it receives four percent below working pressure depending upon the design so 4% below working pressure let's say 7 bar is the working pressure 4% below that is 6.72 or 6.6 .6 bar roughly so that's the pressure it recedes so how it is done there comes the function of lip so we all know that the boiler safety valve has a lip and this lip creates the extra lift so that there is enough pressure drop achieved when the safety valve lifts or the safety valve blowdown or the blowdown period is large when compared to the blowdown period of a relief valve we can say it either this way you know so we all know that one more stuff when we go in deep with the boiler safety valve when we compare that with the improved high lift safety valve has a waste steam piston apart from the lift or sorry apart from the lip we have the waste steam piston 
the lip creates the extra lift and also the waist steam piston creates the extra lift so that there is enough pressure drop and excess pressure is relieved 4% or 5% below the working pressure and then the safety valve recedes. That's the major difference between the relief valve and the safety valve. So to encapsulate both safety valve and relief valve are provided to safeguard either the equipment or the pipeline associated with it or the environment or of course for the safety of the people on board you know and sometimes for the safety of the ship. So with that in mind we have understood the difference between the relief valve and the safety valve.